Mr. Speaker, this weekend, Oppenheimer is expected to win multiple Oscars. In the film, we watch the pain and guilt in J.R. Oppenheimer's face when he heard what the atomic bomb did to the people of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. What the film didn't show, and the story that remains untold, is how thousands of New Mexican families were exposed to harmful amounts of radiation. We didn't see how radioactive ash rained down on children, families, and farms from that first atomic bomb tested in New Mexico. We didn't see the tears and pain as those families saw their loved ones die of cancers and rare diseases tied to radiation exposure. So I want to present this film one more award. The award for the most incomplete story. For the missing, the countless American lives lost as a result of the Trinity test. But Congress can write a better ending to this story. A bipartisan coalition of senators and representatives, we have amendments to the Radiation Exposure Compensation Act, which would finally compensate New Mexico downwinders and uranium workers, as well as workers in Missouri, Alaska, Kentucky, and Tennessee, and downwinders in other states who were left out of that original Radiation Compensation Act. Earlier this year, these amendments were included in the NDAA as passed by the Senate. Sadly, Republican leadership, for some unexplicable reason, stripped these amendments from the final NDAA. But today, soon, Congress can write a happier ending. We can now include it in our future funding bills. Let's write an ending that honors those who sacrificed everything for our national security. Congress can do it. I call on my colleagues to join this bipartisan effort for justice. Mr. Speaker, as we began Women's History Month, we must remember something historic that has happened to women and to women's freedoms. For 50 years, women enjoyed limited, but it was certain reproductive freedoms. A Trump passed, packed Supreme Court overturned that history, overturned Roe v. Wade, and all of a sudden, history, a sad history was made, when the first time in history, women lost an essential right. We are going back to a very sad time when women cannot make decisions about how and when and if to have a family without governmental interference. We are going back to a sad time in history when women who were suffering complications from pregnancy, who were suffering miscarriages, cannot get health care, but instead get handcuffs. We are suffering a sad time in history when IVF is now prohibited in places like Alabama. And let us remind everybody, almost 200 Republicans in this very chamber have voted for, have co-sponsored legislation which mirrors the Alabama law which prohibits IVF. As we begun, began Women's History Month, Let's not turn back the clock on women's progress. With that, Mr. Speaker, I yield back.